Goofy. Sure, kid. You get the loot and we'll swing. You know it. Oh, look at that. beautiful, expensive sports car, without which it will never start. A first gambit by Ralphie Teal, who feels that the world is his oyster, whose tastes are becoming very expensive, and who knows that the only way he can satisfy those tastes is for him to choose a victim. The title of tonight's story. Our leading players are Mr. Larry Blyden, Miss Susan Oliver, Mr. Vaughan Taylor and Miss Tracy Roberts. Well, as sure as my name is Boris Karloff, you'll find it puzzling to choose the victim of tonight's macabre events. You may find yourself grossly misled, possibly surprised, but we do hope that you enjoy this thriller. <laughs> That's all, then you start. Take about 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Well, uh, you can't fight machines. You gotta swing with them. Uh, might as well get a cup of coffee, meanwhile. I suppose. Nice little place right up there. As long as you're gonna have a cup of coffee, I'll join you. Then we'll come back and get you started. at the end of summer. It's uh, not so many people on the beach, and you feel like it's all yours, and it's still warm enough to enjoy it. It's nice to be able to sit out your troubles watching the waves. Come here off, Edith. That's right, isn't it, Edith? Yes, I don't seem to have much to do these days, so I just jump in the car and drive or come here to the beach. Do you suppose those carbs are all right, though? Yeah, sure. Thank you for stopping to help. I'm glad I did. That's where I get to know you. We can talk about the beach like this. Ralph, huh? Yeah, Ralphie Teal. I'm around here most of the time. See you, buddy. Ah, 
I'll just check it for you. Okay. Give her a try. Thank you. see you around on this beach sometime. Yes, you did. Sand. <laughs> Got a little sand there. Well, it's not gonna be much more sun today. Won't get any tan now. I've had enough of it today. Like, wanna see where I live? Just a few minutes from here. It's a little old shack on the beach, but it suits me fine. All right. Like I say, it's uh, just a little old shack on the beach. It's right over there. Oh, I get by. I do a little something when I have to, but I figure why make other people rich? Just the beach, the sun, and me. That's the way I like it. I wish it could be that way for me, too. Live with your folks at home? My uncle, my father's brother. My parents died years ago. It was just my uncle and me in that big house. We never got married. You don't get along with them, huh? Well, I don't get along too well with people either. I guess that makes us kind of a pair, huh? What business is your uncle in? Oh, all kinds. Investments, some of this and some of that. They were all in it together, my parents and Uncle Phil. Now he runs the whole thing. So he's tried to lead my life for me, too. Criticize me, be proper, be this, be that. But when it comes to himself, I'm sorry. I don't mean to just go on about this. It's all right. Everybody's got troubles. You seem to understand so much. Hey. What are you carrying valuable stuff like this around for? It's ought to be in a safe. Oh, Uncle Phil gives it to me. His conscience, I guess. Well, uh... Look, uh, look, my car is being fixed over near where you told me you lived. Uh, how about give me a lift? Of course. Just let me do something with my hair first. It sure handles like a dream. So, uh, this is where you live, huh? Would you like me to drive you to your car? Uh, no. I got a few things to do first. I'll walk. Well, if you want to. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll see you around the beach. at the beach again? Yes. Good way to waste a day. I happen to like the beach. You're not going to meet anybody there you can marry. I don't go there for that purpose. No. You probably go there to meet the muscle boys, the big chest, no brain characters that haven't got a dime to their names. That's right. That's who I go there to see. You think you're joking, but I just might pay a visit to that beach to see what the attraction is. There's no admission charge. You're perfectly free to go. I don't know why I can't get through to you. You think you're above marriage or something? I've introduced you to at least four good prospects. 
Sound boys, but no. Oh, you. Leave me alone, Uncle Phil. Just leave me alone, please. like way late. Uh, but Ralphie, I haven't seen you in a couple of days. Yeah, well, you know me, kid. No sense of time at all. Oh, Ralphie. Hey, you've been playing around with somebody else. Right, come on, knock it off. Listen, Ralphie. You know last week when you said you wanted some money? Yeah. You were short? Yeah. Well, I got an advance. Well, take it. Go on. Hey, thanks, kid. Look, why don't you why aren't you going home? I'll uh, I'll call you tomorrow. Okay, Ralphie. <laughs> so I could find out where you lived and get in here. Oh, Alf. All right, all right, now don't give me that pity, but I don't need that. I just figured you wouldn't miss what I took so long as I didn't grab that silver spoon you were born with. So that's it, I was... I was just gonna play Robin Hood, take from you and give to me. Oh, Alf. and I thought... Okay, now look, I didn't take anything and you didn't scream. I go away, we call it quits. I won't try to see you again. I won't try anything. I promise. Ralph? <laughs> I do. How do you feel about it? I having things, you 
look at me. You're too beautiful. You look at me that way, you make me feel like a rat the way you trusted me. Edith, you up? Uh, yes, yes. What was that? Uh, the closet door, the wind blew it. I closed it. Oh. The uh, house is full of noises tonight. Creaks and groans. Okay. <laughs> in town. I told him you'd be delighted to have dinner with him. You would tell him that when you know I've never been able to stand him and his stupid jokes. He's the son of an old friend. As long as you're living here, you'll show some courtesy to my friends. I'm not going to have dinner with him. Do you have another date? I have a date with myself. It's a threesome. Me, myself, and I. It's a witty remark. And we have lots of things to do. Lots of things. It's just like mine, the one you liked. I thought I'd have your initials engraved on it, but that would have taken a day, and I didn't want to wait to give it to you. Now, baby, you got what they call impeccable taste. I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you. Tonight, we're going to eat out Chinese. And after that, we're going to go dancing, just I you and me. I told you, we have to be careful with my uncle. I, if he knew that I was meeting a man he didn't know. Yeah, I forgot. It's awful, I know, but he has such a temper. Ralphie. Ralphie, I need you so. size pretty good. <laughs> now, how'd you do that, huh? Well, I told the salesman I wanted the best sweater he had for a man who fits perfectly right in here. <laughs> I'm afraid I'd better be getting back now. Tomorrow? Yeah, let's get some sun tomorrow, huh? I mean, meeting inside places, hiding all the time. I don't like that. You know, most dames like to be seen with me. Ralphie, I can't. My uncle would like nothing better than to have an excuse for a real big argument with me so I'd get angry and get out of the house. But I won't do that, because it's mine and belong to my parents. Ralph? I don't want to be seen in here. Hi. Who's there? Honey, it's me. It's Faye. Uh, just a minute. Yeah, get in here. Hide in the corner. I'll get rid of her. Just a minute. Hi, stranger. What do you want? <laughs> Where have you been, honey? I just came looking for you. Well, don't. Don't come looking for me. 
Honey, you're hurting my arm. Yeah, so is that a fact. Well, I'm just trying to impress things on you, that's all. Oh, Ralphie, I, I just wanted to see you. Oh, honey, you used to be so nice, baby. I... It bugs me people come around my place trying to surprise me. Well, you, you used to ask me to come down all the time. Well, things are different now. When I want you to come back, I'll give you an invitation. Now, don't do that again, huh? All right, now beat it. Ralphie? Go on, blow. Okay, you can come out now. Afraid she'd like to see me. Yeah. Honey, don't be mad, please. It's just that. Can't we meet under the pier again tomorrow, please? Okay, sure, under the pier. <laughs> all the time from snoopers, from your uncle. Ralph, please. No, I've been thinking. I've been thinking how we could be together all the time, any place. Do what we want to do when we want to do it. It takes a lot of loot for a thing like that. You got to grab a boat to Europe, drive along the Riviera, get those Italian silk suits. We could do it, Amy. I mean, your uncle. You're the only one he's got. The only one he can leave it to. Gotta leave it to. Uncle Phil. Yeah, he goes, you get it all. If he goes... Well, we make it so it looks like an accident. Nobody ever knows I ever knew you before. Nobody's ever seen us together. We meet after he's dead. You're joking. We can do it, baby. You and me, we can swing fine. Oh, baby, that's just a word. You got any idea how many guys commit a murder walking around loose? A lot of guys. Besides, you hate his guts. I know you do. This way, with him gone, we're out in the clear, all alone, together. Not murder, not killing. Now, listen, baby, you want anything, you gotta go after it. Oh, Ralph. Not murder. You're not listening to me. You're not listening to me. I said we work it so it looks like an accident. It's the only way, baby. It's the only way for you and me. Now, we do this or I'm gonna cut out. Oh, Ralphie. All right, then you swing in with me? first, so nobody spots us together. Goodbye, Charlie. You know, a car could come over that hill going too fast and skid, and over he'd go. You ought to put guardrails up here. Oh, Ralphie, I'm scared. Yeah, I know, baby, I know, so am I, but we've got to do this. Now, listen, it's got to look like an accident, right? Yeah, I guess. Now, you say he goes to visit that woman friend of his every night, and to get there, he's got to go over this Altamaro Ridge, right? Okay. I'll come right over that hill there. And I'll be, uh... I'll be standing here. I'll motion him over to stop right here. Then I'll give him some hard luck story about, uh... about how my car is stuck. 
Uh, he'll know that's true because he can see my car right there. Parked right there up the hill with you in it. Me? Oh, no, Ralphie, I couldn't. I'll never recognize you. No, no. Look, I need you for this, baby. I need you for this. Whenever here comes a car, there's no sense of being seen. As soon as I start talking to him, you gun the motor in my heap and move up behind him. You'll come down so fast he won't even know what's happening. One little tap and over he goes. Bazoom! Accident. Terrible accident. You get all dressed up in black. What if somebody comes along? And then they come along and we wait. How will you know it's him? Well, you say he's in every night by one. That means he's got to come over here between 11.30 and 12.30. When he does, we'll be waiting. He's got that big white special. I know that car anywhere. He's got to come over so slow, he's almost stopped. We do it tomorrow night, huh? The sooner we do it, the sooner we fly. And we stay apart during the night. That way, nobody sees us together. You stay at your house in case he comes home early by mistake. I'll be on the pier by the phone. At 11 o'clock sharp, you call and let the phone ring two times only, then hang up. That way I know it's you. And I jump in my heap and I pick you up at the corner of Ninth and Palm. Our two rings, just remember. Look, here comes another car. See how slow it's gotta go? Just like I said. Hey, got a match? Yeah. Nice new sweater, huh? What's so funny? What are you getting so excited about? I'm just looking at your sweater. <laughs> I just expecting a call, that's all. Ralphie and his crummy dames. stuck back there. You shouldn't be driving an old car like that. It makes it dangerous for everybody. Uh, well, I know, but it's all I got, see? All right, hop in. I'll get you to a service station. What? Uh, no, no, I mean, uh, uh, couldn't, couldn't you give me a push? Push? You can roll it on that hill. Uh, well, something's frozen. You see, it won't, it won't roll. Look, I offered to give you a lift. What more do you want? I'm on my way home. Yeah, I know. I'll tell I, the I first cop yeah, I see. Yeah, Maybe look, you now, look, mister! <laughs> you said, but I couldn't. You just sat there. I tried. I tried, but I couldn't. Now he's home free. Maybe thinking about what happened and getting ideas. You mean he knew? He knows? Maybe. Ralphie, 
He didn't see me, did he? Did he? If he saw me... What I'm worried about is if he thought there was anything funny. No. I know you don't want to do it, but we started it and we're going to finish it. Why let everything we planned get away from us? Of course, you don't want us to be together. Oh, honey. That's my baby. Now listen. I'm going to do it tonight. Same way. Oh, I don't want you freezing up. I'm gonna do it alone. But he's seen you already. I know. I just have to take that chance. If he doesn't know what's going on, he probably won't be too suspicious. What do you want me to do? Nothing. Just stay home. I'm gonna get him when he goes over the... He goes over the hill this time. I'll go up there about 8.30 and wait for him. And when he comes, I'm not going to ask any questions. Then what are you going to do? I don't know. Just have to play it by ear. tonight, are you? No, I have some letters to write. Larry's car wouldn't start when we came out of the restaurant, so he's taking my white job to get home. I'll use yours. Are you still living across the Altamaro Ridge, Mr. Kurt? I wouldn't move if they paid me. I like the wide open spaces. Excuse me, I want to finish this letter if I can mail it tonight. Anybody heard you call my name? I had to stop you because someone else will be in my uncle's car tonight, not him. A friend of his borrowed his car, and he goes up over the Altamaro Ridge, too. You might have killed someone else by mistake. Oh, boy. I was worried because it was getting late. I got hung up. 
What do we do now? Nothing. We wait until tomorrow. This time we do it with no slip-ups. Now look, I'll be by the phone. And you give me two rings when he leaves the house and it's okay. You've got to be sure this time, Ralphie. Either yes or no, I can't take much more of this. Be sure, just do what I tell you. Now when he leaves the house, you let it ring two times, then hang up. Two rings. Where is that lighter and wallet? Never gonna find anything in this house. Never. Crazy? I just had to find out what happened. I couldn't stay at home anymore. Well, maybe we never had it so good. It's done? Do I take no for an answer? Bazoom, he went over. Terrible, terrible accident. Anybody can see that. That's a very tricky hill up there. Like I said before, they ought to put up guardrails, right? Really. No, we better not take any chances. You go on home. Anything you say. And you stay there till they notify you about the accident. Terrible accident. And you got on a big act, see? He was your Uncle Phil. You loved him. You just loved your Uncle Phil. He was the only relative you had, got it? And you watch yourself pretty close for about a week, at least a week. Play real cool. And I'll get in touch with you and we'll make some plans. Maybe even get married. Who knows? Kiss me. Oh, baby, I love the smell of that perfume you wear. Well, then you... You better get out of here. Come on, come on, come on, be in. Blow. Now, remember, we're gonna cool it for about a week. Come on, baby, I'm only human. Don't let anybody see you. I'm gonna miss you this week, baby.
What is it? Open it up, please. Gonna beat it. Cut the kitten. You cut the stall and open up this door. Unless you want it broken down. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You Teal? Ralph Teal? That's right. Well, what's, what's the big idea? Would you get dressed and come with us, please? Well, wait a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to on, please. Wait, 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 wait a minute. You got no you right to... some questions we'd like to ask. Yeah? Like about what? Like about a murder, maybe. But I didn't even know him. Why should I kill him? Meanwhile, you tell us some things first. Eh? There's nothing to tell you, nothing. You guys are just trying to frame me because some guy went over a cliff in his car. With no skid marks. What, what are you going to kill me for that? You're going to gas me because you can't find skid marks? But your tires and shoes had that black Altamora rock all over them. Well, so what? There's a lots of that rock around, a lots of it. So why pick on me? Why me? You, you work alone of this or was there somebody no, else? No, I didn't work with anybody. It was no, you might as well problem. tell us the truth, Teal. We know more than you think. Look, tell me again. Where were you last night? I told you a hundred times. I was at home, but nobody saw me. I was reading a, a soft cover book, a very sexy book. You can find it if you look for it. I'll bet. Let's cut through this. Right. Look, dear, you're a congenital liar, boy. And we both know. So let's establish that right off, eh? For instance, we found out you knew very well who Philip Landers was. That's right. We've been questioning someone knows a lot more than you've been telling us, son. You know this girl? Oh, I don't know her. Why, why should I know her? She look like somebody I'd know? You're lying, Teal. You know who she is, all right. No, I don't know who she is. Miss Landers? Would you have him stand up, please? Stand up? You heard the lady. Would you have him turn around, please? Yes. That is the man who stopped me on the beach about five days ago. As I told you, he tried to bother me. He told me what a big shot he was on the pier. I ran away from him. When I got home, I looked out of the window and saw that he'd followed me. He fits the description you gave us, all right? Yes, he's the one. And he's the same one who stopped my uncle and me on the Altamaro Ridge the night before last. What? He told us he was out of gasoline, but I was afraid of him, especially when he started admiring our car and, and saying how rich we must be. He gave me the shivers. She's lying. She's trying to make it look like... If you don't shut up! We planned it together, both of us. Ah, she agreed, she agreed. We saw each other all the time. We saw a lot of each other. You can check on it. Yeah? Wait a minute. I made sure we were never seen together. What did she make sure? Look. Look, she fell for me. She fell for me and we decided to do it. She gave me a lighter with my initials on it. You can check at the store. We... No, she... She didn't put initials on it. I put the initials on myself. Miss Landers, this your uncle's wallet? I mean, the one he had on him last night. Yes. Well, Teal, what kind of a story are you going to make up about this? We found it in your jacket this morning. I never took it. I never took it. It was her. She planted it on me last night. That's it. That's why she came to my place. That's it. You set it all up from the very beginning, didn't you? So that I'd do it for you. Me alone. You worked it so we'd never be seen together. It was you. You working me all the time, and I thought that I was working you. You just used me! You used me, it was her! Can't you see it was her? Can't you see it? She came to my place, she put this whole thing. Can't you see she's the one that did it? Can't you see it? Can't you see it was her? Can't you see it? I'm 
terribly sorry about this, Miss Landers. You can go now. We'll call you if we need you again. Thank you. about your boyfriend, right from my buddy at headquarters. Is that so? Yeah. He's being held on a murder charge. Murder? Murder. Who would ever think Ralphie would do a thing like that? Ralphie. Not Ralphie, he wouldn't. smell so strongly from your wonderful, expensive perfume. <laughs> 